ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் மை செல்ஃப் நந்தினி அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் கம்ப்யூட்டர் அப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் கேஎஸ்ஆர் காலேஜ் ஆஃப் ஆர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் சயின்ஸ் ஃபார் உமன் திருச்செங்கோட் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் அபவுட் த சப்ஜெக்ட் கம்ப்யூட்டர் நெட்ஒர்க் யூனிட் த்ரீ டாபிக்ஸ் எலிமெண்ட்ரி டேட்டா லிங்க் ப்ரோட்டோகால்ஸ் ப்ரோட்டோகால்ஸ் இன்த டேட்டா லிங்க் லேயர் ஆர் டிசைன்ட் ஸோ தட் திஸ் லேயர் கேன் பெர்ஃபார்ம் இட்ஸ் பேசிக் ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் ஃப்ரேமிங் எரர் கண்ட்ரோல் அண்ட் ஃப்ளோ கண்ட்ரோல் ஃப்ரேமிங் இஸ் த ப்ராசஸ் ஆஃப் டிவைடிங் பிட் streams from physical layer into data frames whose size ranges from a few hundred to a few thousand bytes error control mechanisms deals with the transmission errors and retransmission of corrupted and lost frames flow control regulates speed of delivery and so that a fast sender does not drown a slow receiver sliding window protocols the sliding window is a technique for sending multiple frames at a time it controls the data packets between and the two devices where reliable and gradual delivery of data frames is needed it is also used in tcp transmission control protocol in this technique each frame has sent from one sequence number the sequence numbers are used to find the missing data in the receiver end the purpose of the sliding window technique is used to avoid duplicate data so it is uses the sequence number types of sliding window protocols the sliding window protocol has divided into two types first one go back n arq second one is select selective repeat arq channel allocation problem channel allocation is a process in which a single channel is divided and allotted to multiple users in order to carry user specific task uh, there are users quantity may vary every time the process take place if there are n number of users and channel is divided into n equal sized sub channels each user assigned one partition if the number of users are small and don't vary at times the frequency division multiplexing can be used as it is simple and efficient channel bandwidth allocating technique channel allocation schemes channel allocation may be done using two schemes first one ch- static channel allocation and then second one is dynamic channel allocation static channel allocation in static channel allocation scheme a fixed partition of the frequency channel is allocated to the each user for n competing users the bandwidth is divided into n channels using frequency division multiplexing fdm uh, and each partition is assigned to one user dynamic channel allocation in dynamic channel allocation scheme frequency bands are not permanently assigned to the users instead the channel are allocated to users dynamically as needed from the central pole the allocation is then considering a number of parameters so the transmission interference is minimized this allocation scheme optimizes bandwidth usage and results is faster transmissions bluetooth bluetooth is universal for start range wireless voice and data communication it is a wireless personal area network uh, technology and is used for exchanging data over smaller distance This technology was invented by Harrisians in 1994. It operates in the uh, unlicensed industrial, scientific and medical uh, band from 2.4 gigahertz to 2.485 gigahertz. Uh, maximum devices that can be connected at the same time are 7. That's all. Thanks for watching. Thank you.